During the 1950s and 1960s, a distinct blend of samba and jazz called bossa nova became popular in Brazil. This new way has since reached global acclaim, especially in the United States, with such hits as Girl from Ipanema. Hello, my name is Patrick Keck, and today I will be discussing this important genre and its connection to the Brazilian dictatorship between 1964 and 1985. The 1950s and 1960s were a time full of political conflict, with a struggle between the United States and the Soviet Union and capitalists and communists across the globe. In Brazil, a military coup replaced President João Goulart, a leftist populist. A dictatorship, won back by the United States, formed soon after, enforcing a brutal crackdown on communists, which included homicide and torture, while also suspending many civil rights. Former Brazil President Dilma Rousseff revealed the findings of the Truth Commission in December 2014. An article from The Guardian covered the unveiling of data, which found that 191 civilians were killed by military officials and 243 were disappeared. Music has often been a form of addressing issue with the government. Songs like Fortunate Son in America voiced frustration regarding the country's participation in the Vietnam War. The genre of Tropicalia is the most prominent form of musical resistance in Brazil. Sparked by the killing of three student protesters, Tropicalia was performed for only one year, but its impact spans to today. The lyrics critique the government and consumer society as a whole. Gilberto Gil and Cayetano Veloso spearheaded the movement, whose performance of their song, A Probido Probir, meaning It Is Forbidden to Forbid, in 1968 led to jail time and exile in 1974. Bossa Nova would eventually join the fray of political resistance, but it was far from immediate or complete. Within Bossa Nova existed a split between the musicians that wanted to focus on politics and those that cared more about the music. Rui Castro wrote in his book Bossa Nova that such artists as Marcos Valle, Frances Hime, Dore Caime, and Yumir Deodato were more concerned with harmonies than discord. In truth, Bossa Nova is mostly characterized as a music for the upper and middle classes and more elitist in nature. In contemporary Brazilian popular music, authors Enilton de Sarrego and Charles A. Peron found that, in quote, its basic themes were far removed from the political realities of the country. Critic Jose Ramos Tinojaro described the music as non-Brazilian and alienated the music as well. Yet some bossa nova artists did take a stand, like Zay Kechi and Geraldo Vandre. Kechi took part in the theatrical show Opinion Now in December of 1964. Opinion Now served as a, quote, cathartic remedy, according to Rui Castro, to the militant rule in Brazil of the time. Some songs focused on rural struggles, while Kechi focused on the hardships of city life. His 1964, Opinion Now, which the so show was named after, garnered the most political attention of the audience. Podem me prender, podem me bater, podem até deixar me sem comer, que eu não mudo de opinião daqui do morro. Yet, Kichi wasn't all he claimed to be. According to Castro, Kichi had lived quite comfortably under the militant regime. Through ties to the government, Kechi was given a house in the Villa Kennedy neighborhood in a Rio suburb, an area which had recently been cleared by setting blaze to the shacks. Geraldo Vandre, as well, was not completely dedicated to the cause. In his early years, Vandre wrote such songs as Disparada and To Not Say I Did Not Talk of the Flowers. These songs led to his exile, where he spent time in Chile, Germany, and France. Upon return, however, Vandre was no longer involved in political dissonance. He instead focused on writing love songs and surprised everyone by his piece, Fabiana, that was dedicated to the Brazilian Air Force. 
Perhaps Cayetano Veloso said it best when he stated that, quote, Tropicalia is the opposite of bossa nova. It's a very smooth music that is meant to please the ear, and many artists in the genre felt that political statements would ruffle some feathers.